It's been an incredible four years since I stood here and accepted command of the Royal Australian Navy. Since then, our Navy has proven its worth time and time again as a force that is vital for our nation's security and prosperity. And it has been my honour to have been entrusted to lead our Navy throughout its journey to become the force that it is today. Today we look to the future as our new story unfolds. A story that, like many aspects of defence capability, is a story of regeneration. When I stood here four years ago to assume command of our Navy, I said that the quality of our men and women, of you, was our most important contributor to what we are now and what we will be in the future. As I stand here today, those words have never been truer. You have stood up and you have come through for our country time and time again. I want to thank you and your families for what you have done and what you continue to do, even today, in the service of our nation. I'm grateful to have been given the honour of being your chief and I'm exceptionally proud of each and every one of you. We are a thinking Navy, a fighting Navy, and an Australian Navy. Our focus remains as strong today as it was four years ago. And that is, of course, to fight and win at sea. It's an honour to be here in Ngunnawal country with you all this morning. And it is an absolute privilege to be entrusted with command of our Navy and membership of our most senior defence leadership team. I'd also like to acknowledge our 1,550 officers and sailors who today serve on, above and under the ocean as we meet here. We owe you nothing short of our very best and I will begin each day with that thought in my mind. In my view, there is no greater responsibility than that which a leader has to their team and I am humbled by this responsibility. While we may be uncertain of what the future holds, we are certainly the beneficiaries of unprecedented investments by successive governments in our Navy's future, and we must value this investment by our nation and act with urgency to ensure our Navy and our Defence Force is ready for the challenges of tomorrow. Our environment increasingly demands that we act to our full potential, as ready for tomorrow as we are today. There is a palpable electricity in the air above the oceans of our region, and the risks confronting our Navy teams who are operating thousands of miles from home are very real. In this context, there is much to be done and little time in which to do it. This demands an approach that does not accept the status quo, that does not flinch from challenge, and one that realises a high-functioning fighting culture in our Navy all day, every day. And I look forward to all of your support and teamwork as we do so.